Hello folks, this is Steve AB4L. I heard the engine go out and I knew it was only one engine. The car that's gray collided with something but we don't see... Yes we do. Yes we do. I'm going to turn left for a moment. I'm going to turn left for a moment. There's an EMS here. And there's a... Yeah, he's the one that got hit. Okay, let me put the windows up. I'm going to go down and switch back. Yeah, the one we just passed is the one that was collided with. He may have ended up in the intersection and then pulled out of the intersection for safety purposes. I could see the rear rail with a hitch on it. It was bashed in and bent down. So you can see that the automobile that's kind of similar to my kind of car is the one that really took the damage. And the Jeep had a kind of frame where it could be hit like that and the damage would be much less. It'd be a question whether the person had their seat belts on. So the car, the vehicle that was run into for whatever reason, we didn't see it, we don't know. You see this fire engine here and there's a Jeep on the other side with the EMS and then there's the vehicle across the way that's being protected and taken care of by traffic control I hope nobody was killed from the looks of it and the low level of the response I'll bet nobody was seriously injured because when the engine came out, it clearly wasn't stampeding. I was climbing the Faith Rock Ridge. I heard it come out, and I thought he's going to a low-intensity incident because he's, they're going really slow, and the high, siren is not really turned up. They use their siren, but not full blast. Steve A.B. Foyal just coming back from his heart, health, climb of Faith Rock Ridge, seeing what happened on the road, saying, see you in 73. Drive safely. See you in 73.